Hello everyone. Hello guys. Hello guys. It's Monday, so we are starting again our Lazarski talks. Thank you again very much to everyone who is joining us here on time. Uh, we have to use this amazing opportunity uh, because we are meeting first time after the new year and after your winter holiday. So we all here wanted to wish, uh, wish you a happy new year. We really hope that this one is going to be full of health and joy for you. And as well, we hope that you are so much ready for the upcoming exams with the end of the first semester. Guys, um, so first of all, as always, we want to mention that everyone here is without a mask. That's why we are sitting so close, because we are corona tested and we are healthy. And, uh, and, and that's why we are here. So we are taking care of the safety so much. And we really hope to see you here on a campus very, very soon. Let's hope for that. Also, minor technological detail please guys mute your mic so we do not have any interference and also we would like to remind you about our contest for the best question which will be chosen by our amazing guest about the guest let's introduce her right so today this is a surprise this is someone ah do you know this person <laughs> today we've decided after after we received so many recommendations from you on instagram uh we we are we wanted to welcome our amazing guest uh, Anastasia Menchikova. You know this person very well. I guess this is one of the most well-known people in Lazarsky University. I'm sure you have so many questions. I Anastasia so. is a singer and she's our amazing lecturer too. So um, are there any Anastasia students there? I hope so. And I hope to see a lot of interesting and uh, wonderful questions today that I'm ready to answer. Uh, I'm going to take the word and I'm going to say that I'm super honored and I'm thankful because, uh, you know, my place is right there, uh, usually. But um, last week I got a message that, you know, we have our new guest. And I was like, oh, wow, who is it? And then I got a message that congratulations, it's you. So I'm really, really proud to be here today. I think and I hope it's going to be interesting because I really have a lot of interesting stuff to tell about the university and the academic life and about the doors that seem closed for someone and uh, that can be opened uh, with us today. So thank you very much for having me here. I'm super glad and uh, I wish us all a wonderful, nice evening today. One for hour sure. together, this amazing one hour together. So we have prepared together with Verena many interesting questions for I you. I have no doubts. Uh, but again, guys, we are hoping uh, that you are going to be super active too, because these meetings are organized for you. So you can get to know our guests much better and you can ask your own questions. Uh, this program is just made for you. So the first thing that we have to start with it, I'm so sorry. Um, I, I guess any of every of our students saw you before as an amazing star because you are a singer and uh, they could saw you singing on our campus uh, or maybe somewhere in the club or loads of amazing videos on a social media with you and your uh, and your team uh, creating an amazing music. Could you tell us a little bit more about how it all started? Yes. And, and as well later on. What is the future of it? With a great and great pleasure, because uh, first of all, this is Lazarski Talks in Lazarski University, and I'm proud and very happy to say that it all started right here. So, uh, 2017, I wasn't even a student of Lazarski University, and I met a wonderful guy who was a student of Lazarski University and a great and talented musician. So he was a student of international relations, coming back to the topic, how to combine things that are uh, not always related to your studies. So he was very, very educated in his field, but at the same time, we have one similarity. Our soul is literally filled in with music, and it is our passion. So we met. And he said, um, you know, we were asked by the marketing department, it's going to be a Christmas uh, concert at Lazarus University, so do you want to join us? And uh, we're going to, you know, perform some songs. So it was the first time in my life when we were mm, performing at Lazarus University in 2017, um, together with the Lazarus Music Band, it was called at that time. And I don't know, we probably had like... 10 people on a stage because we had a drummer, two guitar players, one key player, a violin player, and uh, 
I honestly caught myself on a feeling that this is amazing. Like, I, I love this emotion and I love this vibe. So we knew that we can, we have this opportunity to create something. And then it just, you know, it, it out of a sudden, we just, you know, different people from different cultures, from different countries, different cities, we just met. And uh, it was a perfect moment to create something. So, um, yeah, with a great, great help of Lazarsk University, of the marketing department and of wonderful Magda Michkovska, I have to mention it here, we call her our godmother of our band right. because she really helped us a lot. So, yeah, after one of the concerts at Lazarsk University, we're sitting together in a kitchen, four of us at that time, and we were like, okay, we need to call it somehow. And uh, we just love it. We, we, we really are a family together. So let us call it somehow, our band. And, uh, well, we texted our friend and uh, he was working in this, you know, concert sphere. And we said, you know, we, we need a name for a band. Uh, can you help us with that? And he was like, yeah, easy, no problem. So I'm going to help you in a sec. And then I was like, stop. We found the name. So we found the name and now we're easy. I said, I, um, I have no idea where it came from. But yeah, now we are a music band and uh, I have four wonderful and super talented guys. Uh, with me by my side always and um, yeah and you are creating amazing music and we are creating okay, I'm amazing shocked music. now I'm shocked now because I you know I had this feeling and I had this thought in my head that that the, the, what you creating is so amazing because you have years and years and years of practicing uh, behind you so it is all started so recently yeah uh, 2017 you just found an amazing passion yeah and you reveal this super success for uh, to everyone shall i understand i mean this is the you know this is the outcome of this story that every one of us at any point of life you can just find your passion it is absolutely true and i'm gonna say that um, I don't want to be here sounding like I'm, you know, an expert in creating a music band because we're going to face the reality, right? We have like five members and we're performing here in words of, yes, we do uh, invite a lot of people and they come to our concert. And that's a great pleasure and an amazing feeling that I really cannot describe. But um, it is not about the fact that we're famous or not famous in terms of, you know, global um, scale and understanding. It is about the fact that you can do that easily just like this when you have a right people yeah. who you believe in who believe in you and who believe in your um you know child that you're creating together so yeah it okay. was it was very random and um i love to sing but when i met these guys and when we started singing together i started singing like i do now i like i i put it like this i didn't sing before i met them and then we met each other that's amazing. And, and it just That's just something amazing. Guys, this is a recipe for success, okay? This is just a moment that the universe is letting to know, you know that this is a moment. Uh, you just need to uh, meet the right people at the right time. Absolutely. And puts loads of your effort, right? Yeah. To create something beautiful. And you can be 20, you can be 30, you can be 17. You yeah, can be I, just, I just want to mention that our bass player, bass guitar player, is 31. So we still love him. <laughs> and... Hey. Uh, well, this is last love him. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying that you know it happened when he was 30 and he's still enjoying it very very much that's, that's amazing so really this is a beautiful story uh, I guess this is uh, this is really a good message for everyone that you should never give up on looking for your passions and looking for uh, you know these things that you're amazing at uh, it's just really a little bit of luck and a little bit of hard work from your side yeah, and you have great. to understand that Lazarsk University can actually help you with everything can, you can think yeah, about can help you with developing your yeah. hobby or your passion so even if you are singing in a shower currently uh there is always a possibility that yeah. in the future you're going to develop this talent right you never know right what will be the future of singing what um, do you see for for easy for the future is it something that is going to stay in the in a shelf of your hobby or this is something that you decided to um develop professionally um I decided to develop professionally another thing that I'm doing, and uh, this is lecturing at Lazarsk University. And we'll this is something, that. yeah, and this we'll is something where we are heading. So uh, I'm gonna tell you the truth. We all, and I love it about our band. Mm, so me and four wonderful guys that uh, I'm uh, playing with. One is from the logistics sphere. Another one works in Google. Another one works at the hotel. 
the fourth one is working with one of the most popular bloggers that are in Poland and I am a lecturer at the university so we all are completely different and our path just you know crossed at the point when, we're, when we do music and for now we feel absolutely comfortable at doing this for our people who we have uh -huh. for like you know even okay we, we have 250 people for now and we know that we can invite more but unfortunately 250 was um, because of the restrictions right so anyways we, we can't do that here and Warsaw is an amazing city an amazing platform if you're gonna ask me okay if you have an opportunity for all of your uh, guys to go for one year Mm, I don't know tour uh, around the world for now I think we would reject because I'm a lecturer at Lazarski University and because uh, we just enjoy it here our little family uh, that uh, just loves our passion and our people who we're with so we are quite satisfied with what we're doing right now we have our plans and um, right. yeah we're working on the EP EP is a little um, like an album but you know usually albums are 10 songs EP is like four or five songs so we're working on this when I record it and um, yeah just give it to people so they can enjoy our music with us it sounds actually amazing to me because as well it says the, the beautiful story behind it that not always um, your hobby or your passion need to be something that you are earning money on right and it's just made for money right? however we are earning money on the right <laughs> but this is as well something that is giving you a pleasure and this should be there in the first point right yeah. it should be something that is bringing you together with other people and is allowing you to express yourself uh, that's amazing let's head to really important point now because I hope there is many students that are having uh, classes with you currently listening to us now I hope so so we wanted to ask you a few things about you being a teacher and actually uh, this first of all I propose this question wow okay there's a question coming sorry before we will ask any uh, questions from this our is side right, right on time so yeah please please you, okay tell okay. me the name of the student <laughs> no no uh, it's not your student i okay. suppose uh but it's kind of my student okay. it's luba so she's asking tell us please how to become a lecturer i will just a little bit adjusted how did you become okay a that's a lovely and interesting story that i'm gonna share with you right now um I was a student of Lazarsky University. I got my master here, I got my bachelor at another university, and um, to be completely honest, when I was getting my bachelor, I wasn't really active in terms of uh, science things, because I just didn't feel it that way. So I was uh, just, you know, a good student, I was studying, and that's it. And then um, it was time to choose the masters, because uh, I think I have to re kind of repeat the story of Ostap, um, right, our ex-guest. Um, my family is full of scientist doers. So my mom is PhD, my aunt is PhD, my grandma is a professor of the national level of another country. So it was really obvious for me that I never asked myself whether I should, should go to master's or not. So I was thinking about the, which university should I go. Um, the fact that we had a band uh, that was connected to Lazarsk University played a huge role in that because I knew that I will have an amazing opportunity every single day to go to this room with a keyboard with my friend and we're gonna you know just play some music during our classes during our breaks so and Lazarsk University is a good university in terms of you know educational path so I've chosen Lazarsk University and I've chosen masters in uh, international business economics um, it was hard for me from time to time and um, but I always wanted to do that since I was 14 I knew that I want to become a teacher at the university and it is very important point because I never thought about school and I never thought because I have three groups uh, of people uh, you know when I uh, when I'm asked a question why did you want to become a lecturer because it's boring for someone for someone it's like you know why why would you want to do that we want to leave the university and forget about that but i have three groups uh students from school students at the university and middle-aged and you know older people so i knew that i don't want to do that with children at school because you have to be on one page and you know you have to really think twice before you say something so it's not about me i just you know i didn't want to do this with children uh, middle-aged and older people um okay but i want to be in touch and i want to communicate and learn and teach people who i'm on the same page with so university is an amazing you know my kind of cup of tea so i got my masters and uh you know global pandemic happened 
and I uh, understood that I'm not gonna come back to the university because I'm finishing my master's and I felt that I didn't have enough. I want to come back to the university because I really like this atmosphere that we have here. I really like everything that is happening. So I thought, okay, well, that's the time. And um, I emailed uh, our dean of the Faculty of Economics and the Management, uh, Mr. Martin Dahl. And uh, we had the meeting in Zoom with uh, my lovely boss, who I call him now, uh, Mr. Yene and uh, Martin Dahl. They asked me questions. I didn't completely understand what was going on because I didn't know that they are recruiting me for the lecturer position. So I just talked uh, to them. And uh, then, you know, things happen and I need to defend my master thesis because without master thesis, I cannot be enrolled to the university as a, as a worker. So I was on my way to the defense and um, I didn't know whether I'm accepted or not. I didn't know anything. I mean, I didn't, I didn't know anything. And um, I have to mention another person that I'm really, really thankful for and uh, for the contribution. He cannot even understand how big is and I'm going to be thankful uh, forever. This is Dr. Krzysztof Beck. You're gonna right. be you're gonna be watch me so this is a huge thank you for you i hope you all love maths <laughs> yeah <laughs> because uh, he was a supervisor of my thesis and uh he you know this is just a person who believed in me at some point of my educational path and so i was on my way to defend my thesis uh, i entered the room with the committee and they asked me questions you know about my thesis about this and then they said okay you have to leave and wait three minutes I'm waiting, all shaking, I'm coming back. I still don't know whether I'm working at the university or not. I have no information about that. And I'm coming back and I'm seeing, I'm, I'm watching, here is a Dr. Beck and uh, the people from the committee and they're standing up and I'm standing there like, congratulations, Anastasia, thesis, five, thank you very much. And I was like, thank you very much. And you know, it's the silence and it's a wonderful, actually wonderful moment of my life when Dr. Beck is like, uh, by the way, dear colleagues, Anastasia will be working with us from the next semester. And I'm like, hopefully and he's like indeed and that was the moment when i got to know that i'm gonna be working in the university i was shaking i don't know why better because of the defense or because of this fact so i know that it all is about the personal and uh, you know human relationships i was a good student i was a good person i was a member of science communities and i uh, you know i contributed things to um to to, to this university not just like a student so i think it helped me and um yeah i think they saw something in me and they believed in me so now i'm a lecturer at the lazarsk university and i really am thankful for carol yana martin dahl krzysztof back because they believed in me and now you have to ask students if they were wrong or right right uh, so i guess that your students are going to have other questions too uh this sounds amazing you know uh because i i i guess that really sometimes uh we are not sure of the path that we should take in our life but it's so important that they are people that they believe in us right and sometimes this this small belief or this small push from someone can really lead to amazing Absolutely. things later on in life right um and i personally believe it's really really valuable uh that there is many young people working uh in a university and guys uh, okay uh, by the way i'm the oldest person in this room here okay in front of the camera you're but, always 18 but i appreciate but i wanted to say that i appreciate that a lot do you appreciate that? What is your opinion? Give us your comments about that. From my point of view, if I can share it with you, uh, you know, young professors, young teaching staff is so much important because let's be honest, new generations are coming, these new young people, every generation is so much different. Uh, they have different ideas, different point of views to many things. So having a young lecturers, uh, young professionals that are sharing their own experience and own knowledge is so important because it's keeping them updated so much. Another thing that I really wanted to add is that uh it's not just about the you know younger generation uh, we we can show you that it's it's possible and it's super interesting and really i know that not a lot of people um from my surrounding can 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 even think about becoming a lecturer when they are 18 or 16 but i um, gonna share with you one thing that i'm really proud of i got a message at the end of this semester from um, one of my students who is probably watching me now and um so i got this message um 
I knew that Lazarski is a good university because, you know, ranks and everything. I knew that this is a good university. And then I came here and I saw so many young people working here. And I was like, oh, wow. And then, you know, he was like, okay, let's see what's going on during the lectures because probably, you know, they're young and blah, blah, blah. But then he said, I was so satisfied that right now, after my first semester, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, should I be the next one? And I was like, oh, damn, this is the thing why we're here. This is to show that this is this is possible and this is possible yeah, and this is reachable yeah right amazing and uh this is a question actually and the, the subject i'm stealing from darena okay i will be very honest um okay this is a very important question okay and i guess it's going to be important for you and important for all those who are listening to us okay because actually you are a person that was sitting on the both sides of a table. Yes. First of all, you were a student and you were you were studying here uh, with, with those teachers that now are your uh, colleagues from work, right? And now you are sitting on the other side of a table because you are teaching yourself to the students. Did this experience from both sides of the table you know, you had a possibility to have a look at the situations and learn from both sides. Is it something that enriched you and the way you are teaching others, Absolutely. your experiences as a student? Absolutely. Yes. 100 times. Yes. Because mm, I was there. I was there not a long time ago. And that's what I'm saying when I am um, mentioning, you know, about this young generation. I know how they feel. I know what they think about because I thought about the same thing and uh, I respect every single student that I'm having because it is all about the, the, the respect from the both parties. So this experience of the student, it helped me a lot. And you said that, you know, um, they were my teachers and now they're my colleagues. You cannot even imagine how hard I try to catch all the things that they're doing. They don't even know about that, right? But sometimes I'm like, okay, what is he doing? What is he doing? Here is the request. Here is this, here is this. How to answer, how to, how to you know, organize all this stuff. So I really am taking the knowledge from the colleagues that I'm working with now. And I have to tell it because again, I don't want this uh, interview look like my personal story. I just want to share it with students that you really cannot imagine how are ama how amazing these people are who are teaching you. They all have a wonderful personal histories. They all have a great pack of experience at their back. So you really, really need to appreciate that. And no one says about that when you're a student, Anna right? says about it. I will read you a comment. Okay. Uh, as you said, it's good to have young lecturers who understand students maybe more, but the most important is that we as students, we must show respect. Absolutely. Thank you, Anna. I hope so. Comment. I have a nasty question. Sorry, I, I, you know, because this is this is a question that it might not be easy, but I think it's important to emphasize this. As a student, was there anything that was making you a little bit angry, or maybe something that you didn't like in the way the teachers were were doing? And w was there anything like this that you promised yourself, once I'm going to be a teacher, I will never do that in my class? Mm. One thing. Okay. Well, of course, there were situations where I was angry when I, for example, didn't pass a macroeconomic exam. <laughs> yes, I didn't pass a macroeconomic exam once uh, here. And I was literally very angry because of the fact that, you know, this flexibility. So like all students have the same requirements, all students have the same rules. And I thought at that time when, because we, yeah, I faced the situation right. personally and I was like, is it really that hard to make an exception just to listen to a student i'm a good one i'm a good girl I'm a, i have a good personality please can you help me you know i i don't miss your classes so so help me at that point of my life i thought no this is really not am i angry about that now i do understand that it is correct and the right system that all of the students have the same rules and mm, when a student is interested in the subject and you, okay, you can be not interested in the subject, but you, your attitude to the subject, you want to pass it and you're interested in passing this. Your I efforts, think, right? yes, I think I have 
to spend one more hour of my time helping this student than just say, okay, you get, you have two because I don't know what happened on earth, you, you didn't have a Wi-Fi or something, and just let it go. If I see that a student is really interested, but it honestly depends on the, um, you know, the effort of the student because, you know, situations happen and I really try to help everyone right now, you know. I hope you are confirming. <laughs> I'm looking for yes, 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 yes in the chat box. We are looking for that. Uh, before asking one of the most interesting questions for me, which I wanted to ask you, I want to ask uh, you a question from our student from Instagram Live. What is the most difficult and the most interesting work of teacher? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know the answer to that. The most... What was the first one? The most difficult the most and difficult. the most interesting. interesting. So, uh, the most difficult thing is to give grades. That is absolutely true. And um, my boss, Carl Yenna, knows about it because I'm, I'm I really sometimes it's hard emotionally because to give five is always easy, but no one told me that to give two is literally can lead you to a depression when you want to just cuddle someone and you want to say, no, I'm not coming back to this university. I don't want to do that because it is really hard. It, it is super for me now because, you know, I'm not used to it. And I, I know how a student feels uh, when, when he or she gets two. And so I really am trying from the very beginning of the semester super hard to make students be interested in the subject because if they're interested in the subject, believe me, it's really hard to get two. So okay. this is it is very difficult for me to give a grade, right. and um, the mo I don't know it, it the is most interesting. It is everything is interesting in this job. <laughs> One thing I mean, <laughs> the most um, interesting to learn from them, to learn from students, and to learn from the colleagues. That's the most interesting right thing because sometimes people are forgetting that uh, okay this is university it doesn't matter this is university this is school this is high school middle school something doesn't matter whenever you are coming to learn in every place that you are coming to exchange your knowledge doesn't matter where it is and you are open to get the knowledge from someone else and to share the knowledge right at the same time you do it and even though you might not be a teacher because you are a student you are exchanging uh, a knowledge with a teacher and with other classmates right that's why these interactions with other people are so so much important and as well they are so valuable and i guess guys that now when you are having classes online you are appreciating you know this exchange of a knowledge and this personal contact right oh, with the people super, so much so more i honestly hope that we're gonna you know see each other soon at the university because I really am a very, very, you know, human relationship person. I need to see people, you know, I need to talk to them. I need to see the reactions. So sometimes it is hard to talk to the laptop and, um, but still we, we have our fingers crossed to see each other very, very soon at, on the campus. Right. So before our participants of, of uh, our students and participants of this interview are going to, uh, to make another uh, questions. Darina has a very nice question for you. My I really favorite. like it. I was thinking of Kay. that for Kay. so long time. Um, honestly, I know personally that you are the role model for a lot of Oh, people. Jesus Christ. And who is the role model for you? I don't have one. You don't have one? I don't have one. Because really? I, I think I can... No, okay, that's a nice question. <laughs> You're gonna that, win. That's a difficult <laughs> Am question. Am I winning right? a pass? <laughs> she wants to win this. Um, the role model. I mean, the, the first thing that I want to say is that I, I actually get very surprised every single time. Because I hear it sometimes and you hear it too. You are the role model. Why? I mean, I have my experience. I have my knowledge. I have my path. And uh, I don't have the role model. Of course, I, I look at my mom she's working and she's cooking great and she's a wonderful wife a wonderful mom a wonderful sister whatever so it can be a piece of the role model sure thing right then i'm having my i don't know grandmother who is a 85 year old professor who is doing her makeup every single day she can be a role model too but uh, i can honestly say that i'm just picking little pieces from everyone i pick something from the rena I do. I pick something from you. I do pick something from Dr. Beck, for example. Right. As, as a lecturer, I really do. I pick something from Karol Yene, from Magda Michkovska, if we're talking about the university, right? I pick something from my friends and I think that um, you have to build uh, the role model of yourself 
to be a role model for uh, other for people. Others. Wow. I don't I don't have a role model. That's so deep, honestly, that you just want to quote it on the Instagram. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is uh, you said something so, so valuable. So first of all, you need to be very attentive. So you need to uh, notice other people. You, you need to notice what is good in them. Because honestly, in everyone, there is something bad too. But there is so many good things uh, in every person and you have to notice it yeah yeah and just absorb this good energy or this good experience the, this good example that they are giving for you right yeah and and yeah and and maybe uh you know uh try to uh to navigate the same way as as they did and become and, and do everything to become a role model for others and to to perfect yourself mm -hmm. um up to some standard yeah, right I agree with that. you can't be perfect because there's no one perfect but the life is about growing right absolutely and and you are meeting all the time new people on your way uh, at the university later on at work later on somewhere else right and you can build up your character yeah. and yourself with the time that's so valuable that's actually so amazing really i Thank would you. like to pay attention special attention to anna's comment can you please Be read it out loud i don't know if i can read okay uh, <laughs> Okay, you have to be your own model. My opinion, of course, we learn from each other, but still it does not stop us from being our model. So Pretty much summing up of yeah, what we, yeah, right, we I just agree. So, so uh, these ideas are there, just uh, the, the difficulty is to imitate it, mm -hmm. right? And I think um, our, another question that, that actually uh, was prepared before this meeting, I think somehow is connected to that. Sometimes people, they are very down about the failures they had in their life. Uh, sometimes they're feeling depressed because, because they are putting some kind of perfect role model somewhere, you know, in front of them. And they are feeling that all the time they cannot grow up to that level. They cannot jump into that level, right? And they are demanding a lot from, from, from themselves. Sometimes too much, right? The question is, how you deal with being down sometimes or how you dealt in your life uh in with the situations when you maybe failed in something mm -hmm. because of any reasons okay okay and this is going to be a great lesson i guess for others um you know putting some kind of aim in front of you and what to do even if you fail okay i'm gonna answer this really deep question on the example of the university um you may be nervous because you're gonna fail an exam right what on earth happens if you fail this exam really like what is the worst thing that happens in the world if you fail an, an exam in macroeconomics i didn't I, I wasn't that wise a year ago when i was a year more than a year ago when i was um you know i didn't pass my macro exam and uh, i had just you know a wonderful history that is really related to lazarsky universities that that i really want to share because it is a deep question and i think that every single person should know he's a her limits because it's absolutely healthy and normal in my opinion because um it was a situation in my life a lot of you know a lot of students ask if you can work during your studies if you can have any hobbies during your studies well yes you can unless you you're not killing yourself with this so i had the situation uh -huh. a couple of years ago i was a student of lazarsky university and it was a session time but uh you know mm, we were planning a concert because it was a nice time for the concert and we were re rehearsed we were having rehearsals here at lazarski and i worked i used to work at the at the you know half government government uh, organization and uh, i woke up at 7 a.m in the morning every single day i went to work i went to university then to the studio and then i'm coming back at 2 a.m and i'm coming back to sleep with the knowledge that i have to wake up at 7 the next day uh one week it was fine but then i just you know i i literally came home after the you know the the work the uh, university this session this macroeconomics this uh, you know our rehearsals for the concert and uh like the last moment when i understood that i have to do something with this because it's not gonna end up well was when uh, we were having the mm, rehearsal uh for the concert and i literally became 
very angry, like super angry. I was shouting to people, to, to my boys. I was shouting to everyone. I was literally shaking so that one of uh, our friends, our mutual friends actually, uh, he just took me and he was like, hey, calm down, it's okay. But I, I couldn't calm down. And it really can not end up in, uh, with, I don't know, with a depression, with this, you know, uh, syndrome. Anxiety when, when you don't want something. anything. You don't want to wake up. You don't want to come out from the bed. So I came home. And I honestly was just sitting and I was like, come on, the only person that you have respect the most in your life is yourself because no one will give you more power, more energy and, you know, more resources. So I just, you know, priorities is the thing that you should make because when you have the priority, when, okay, you have a goal, you want to, I don't know, pass all the exams. I think you have to create the path with the pri priorities that will lead you to this goal and just really know your limits because if you have a lot of things your productivity will decrease and yeah. it's not gonna help anyone so and yeah just I I don't know I tell it all the time to people it's okay to be sad it's okay to be weak it's okay to fail sometimes it is more important to have the courage and the power to wake up and to do okay I'm gonna crash this problem and I'm gonna go I'm gonna pass right. this macroeconomic exam right. I'm gonna you know have the concert or I'm gonna write a scientific paper or anything so I think it is about the priorities really right uh, you said a few important things in my opinion so first is important to know your limits and uh, be because if someone uh, is is flying to the moon or if someone else is a multimillionaire from the scratch or someone else is a ballerina dancer exactly. the most famous ballerina exactly. dancer in the world or someone else is working in the charity organization or someone else is working in the supermarket doesn't matter who you are and doesn't matter what you di do in your life you have to accept that your limits might be different than others absolutely i don't really think you have to copy someone right and, uh, and, and yeah. you don't have to push yourself to the limits absolutely. because you have to acknowledge what is your capacity and plan accordingly and as you said never give up yeah never give uh, up Right. Okay. That th doesn't matter how easy it sounds, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Apart from this big idea about limits, right? Do you have something which helps you start in the day with a smile or an inspiration? Yes, I do. I actually have a ritual. Uh, well, I when I have some um, important meetings or a concert or um, a defense uh, right. of the thesis, I have a favorite um, music band. And it's not easy, by the way. Uh, I'm just playing their songs. And uh, three days ago, I bought a vinyl, uh, you know, the CD recording recording right. of this band. This band is Queen. So when I have, a, really, I don't know how, I, I don't remember when it started, but I just play their music on and I'm, you know, dancing, doing my makeup and all the stuff. And then I'm like, I'm good to go and I'm going. I just, you know. To be ener uh, full of energy, uh, smiling from the you know early morning, you have to be uh, in harmony with yourself. So it makes me, it helps me to reach this harmony because uh, I love music. So yeah, it helps me. That's well, right. Ritual. Thank you for the answer. That was uh, the question from Biki, by the way. Okay, cool. Uh, also, I would like to go uh, to this lecture uh, topic which we were discussing because we actually missed one question from Dmitrot Kachenko. Oh. Uh, was it hard to overcome the fact that your lectures are now your colleagues? Was there a change in approach to these people? Uh, thank you very much for the question. There was no change in approach to these people from my side because uh, the fact that I'm now working with them doesn't change anything. I mean, I still respect them. They're still much more higher than me in, in all of the perspectives. and. Um, I, I really appreciate and I'm super thankful because, you know, it's a closed door and no one can go there. But uh, I'm going to open some some cards and I'm going to say that Lazarsky University um, lecturers in general, first of all, are just wonderful people that I'm really happy to work with at my Faculty of Economics and Management. And every single day when I'm here, I'm fulfilled with the new information new stuff, new knowledge, new thoughts, and they're super, um, you know, I'm not going to say educated because it, 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 well, obviously they are educated, but they're just super nice to me. Uh, and I'm really thankful f for that because they accepted me and, uh, but my approach to them didn't change. Absolutely. I respect these people 
I'm happy to, you know, to have a cup of coffee with them, to have an educational or scientific uh, talk, uh, to discuss my lectures, to ask for the advice. And that's the thing that I'm doing. I'm asking for the advice. I'm not ashamed of that fact. When I have some, you know, situation, uh, it can be 11 p.m. I can call uh, Mr. Yana, help me. Just give me an advice or write uh, Dr. Beck, I need an advice. And they're helping me. And uh, I'm really thankful about that. Wow. That's and we amazing. have a question, by the way, related uh, to this topic you are discussing right now from our mutual friend Dipanshu. Oh. Uh, what difference do you find in between coping with stress as a student as, and as a teacher? I'm going to tell you the truth. You have more stress when you're a student than you're a teacher. And that's true. <laughs> so I'm so How I'm possible? Sorry. I don't know, but that's that's true. Um, because, you know, when you're like, okay, nice question, Dipancho. She He wants a, a present from Ozarski University, I suppose. <laughs> but um, I have my back here. Um, these people are teachers, workers, team, team, and they have my back. So when I'm stressed, I have this support. And to tell you the truth, when I had my first lecture, I was stressed out, really, really stressed out. Mm -hmm. You know, this computer didn't work. I didn't know how to turn it on. And I called, Carol, I need you. <laughs> like, come here and help me. But I remember my first class. And um, so I had my first class. And it started. And then this wonderful lady knocked to the room. And she brought me coffee. She brought me coffee. Uh, where it was written take it easy wow and uh, i was like so okay, cool mindful. i'm gonna cry during my first lecture thank you very much <laughs> then you know i had some technical uh technical issues i asked back here and he was like okay just you come down i'm gonna do everything so he helped me then i had my first class and uh you know i, I ran out of the building and i saw two this you know super um scientific superman of this university for me i i saw carl Yana and and Krzysztof back they were staying in together and i was like i just had my first class so you know i i know that there are people who can support me and i'm really really not nervous and uh you know when when we started lazarski talks I got a question, are you nervous? And I said, no, I'm going to be with you still now. We're going to, you know, talk to nice people. Why? Right, so, guys, so so I have to add to this story. It's not important on which part, uh, on, no, on which side of the table not. you are. You are a teacher or you are uh, you are a student. The, actually, the, the recipe for success is to have your puck. Yeah. is to have people who support you and doesn't matter these are your co-professors co co colleagues or these are your colleagues from the class if you know that you're not left alone okay it's giving you strength and power to go on and you're never left alone at lazarski university <laughs> because you have lazarski student health desk and thank all you. other <laughs> thank you, you know, for the program you appreciate that uh, actually, we have really nice, nice holiday question, let's say, still keeping this atmosphere, trying to, uh, from Magda. Okay. Anastasia, what are your New Year's resolutions or crazy plans for 2021? Oh, well. Do you have any? Mm, I have any. I have some of them. But I really don't think that there is like you know marvelous to share with people like look i'm a role model with these plans no they're just you know usual plans i want to get the book printed that um, is another story if you want to ask me i'm gonna tell you <laughs> but i mean you know i want to complete some stuff that i'm having at the university currently i want to have nice lectures because you know every, every single lecture is a piece of work that we're working on so i really want all of my students to be satisfied with that and then i want to have a huge okay i'm gonna say that this is a big plan and that's true i'm gonna say it officially uh i want to have and we will have because this is the goal and when this whole global pandemic will you know end up i'm gonna be the first one to book the venue so yeah uh we have a want we have a wish and we have a goal to to make a big and a huge concert uh not alone uh, because you always have to have your back and dancing back, for instance, with 343. We know that we're going to do that. Hopefully in 2021, uh, we want to do a huge, massive concert for all of our students, their friends, whoever will like to come. We're going to be more than happy to do that. And this is a big plan that uh, me, 
my boys, Darina, her girls, uh, with the help and support of Lazarsk University, because they'd never let us, um, you and know, with feel your participation, and with your participation, <laughs> whatever camera you see right now. Uh, we're gonna do that. That's the plan. That's a good plan, actually. We all, uh, you know, keep our fingers crossed that this is going yeah, to happen in 2021. Um, I'll be sitting like this till the end of the episode, <laughs> <laughs> till the end of the year. <laughs> right. Um, I want to add something in at this point. Uh, I know uh, that every student, after each semester, is able to give a grade to a teacher yes okay remember guys there is a grading system after each semester you are getting a questionnaire that you have to fill in and you are actually giving grades from one to five to your teachers you can as well make a comments um what was good or what was bad or what was something that teachers should work on or maybe that's something everything was amazing right um um are you able to give a grades to uh, groups to a class? No, no. Uh, well, we're giving a grade. No, we're giving the most impor head. important grade. We're giving them the grades for the right. classes. Um, uh, you got these grades already with with this with, semester. Uh, like they, yeah, uh, yeah. I got it. Okay. Um, is it something that is motivating you? Oh, it is. Uh, oh, it is. And baby. arts into account. This is interesting for me. Yes, of course. I mean, first of all, uh, my boss has an access to this um, grades, and but this is not really the most important because when I I right. got the access to that, and um, uh, first of all is. I really recommend and I ask for the next semester every single student to do that because it really is important how um, yeah the feedback yeah what is the feedback and how th there is no other way how I can understand that mm, so I, I read them and it is motivated it is inspiring it is you know things that I'm, I, I was sitting I was reading every single feedback very carefully I was uh, really satisfied uh, with, the, with the grade that I got because I didn't know till the very end moment you know the, the feedback from the students right so it is very very important for every single lecture believe me so it was very motivational i know what to do okay and i have to ask because sometimes students they have a concern about it is this a questionnaire anonymous do absolutely you, do you know who gave you I the have name no or idea. a comment i don't like this lady or something or <laughs> i love this lady she's so beautiful i have no idea you have no idea so guys i'm really encouraging you because uh sometimes i i talk to students and they were hesitant about filling in this questionnaire or they said like oh no maybe i'm not going to fill it in because i'm not feeling uh, good about something right about something at the class but better i'm not going to make no a you comment. really have to fill it in because it's right. anonymous we don't see anything and, uh, and this is so important to do this right yeah. because it's a growth for both yeah. sides and i'm gonna i'm gonna prove that it's anonymous because um i had a group where we had let me say 15 people and I had, in the group, I had 17 people, but I saw 15 people. I've never right. seen this t two people, but I got a feedback from 16 of them. And one of them said that, you know, I, I didn't do anything in my classes. So I was really, really surprised uh, because I wanted to know who this guy or girl is, but I couldn't. So it's absolutely anonymous. You can be completely sure in that. Okay. But this is important for the both sides growth. And what, what I wanted to say is you should not be hesitant about being honest, right? Because really it's, it's important yeah. for the things to get improved, right? None of the teacher is going to have a hard feelings or, you know, is going to kill anyone because of this or fail all your exams, right? No, no, they are not going to. The thing is that this is, you know, learning process for everyone and improvement for the future, right? Yeah, for for general, both sides, right? I think right? in general, you as students, you have to take all the opportunities, all the opportunities that you're having at Lazarsk University, as well as the responsibility of you as a student because you have responsibility and um i just i just wanted to say that um i see some students who are mm, i see the decrease in the level of taking the responsibility so i just want to mention and highlight the thing that if you're not taking the responsibility i don't really think you can achieve the results that you you set be, be, you know in front of yourself uh, so dear students please take the responsibility because it's really really important Right, and studies is a time when you are becoming an adult, right? You are not anymore uh, a school uh, a student, a pupil, right? Yeah. You, are, you are a student, so you are actually an adult. And well, this is preparation, preparation. for what is waiting you, for you, you are, yes, right, in, exactly. in the future. Exactly, and another just little point that this is literally 
the one of the most brilliant and wonderful time of your life like being a student is a marvelous time when you, you and you know what no one says about it. like you you have to enjoy this time right but when it ends up it's gonna be like this uh like this and like this again you're gonna be like oh my god because this is really the best time of your life you can create yourself a future opportunities you can find relationships in i don't know in scientific field in 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 business field in you know whatever you can find the friends who are gonna be long life you know long lasting friends you're gonna your children are gonna know these friends from the university your maybe, family maybe all of them i mean you're creating yourself a family and like another family that you're choosing and i really really recommend all of the students not to be okay i'm a lecturer but i still have to say that it's not just about the exams and the books and you know about the libraries and everything it is about the uh, atmosphere and, and about being a member of something yeah, bigger right yeah so you have to take this opportunity no one will tell you like come on be our friend or come on let's do something you have to do it yourself if you want this you know because for those who don't do that this is just the university but for those who do more, who want more, and who um, take opportunity, take opportunity and responsibility, this is one of the best times of your life. Right. We have so many comments here. Yes, and we're running out of time. We have okay. ten minutes okay. left. Uh, I'll start from the comment from Anas. You are a good example, Anastasia, for all students who are planning to start a new journey after finishing students' uh, studies and become a lecturer. Thank you very much. It's really, really nice to hear that, really. Also, we have a couple of questions and two of them are from Jasmeet. Firstly, I wanted all of you to know how motivating it is to watch you guys. And Aww, I want to say thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, secondly, my question, what keep you going? Oh, well. Is it Queens? Or something <laughs> else. <laughs> uh, definitely, they play a very, very nice role. Uh, Queens, uh, the music band, or Queens, uh, I call my guys. Queens sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, it's it's. You have to be motivated, and you don't really have to ask yourself uh, these questions because when you ask yourself this, something is wrong. I think something is really wrong. But um, I have the support from my family, from my friends, you know, I have the people around me who are motivating me and I think I'm motivating them too, probably, right? I have my hobby and I have the work that I really love. I mean, I, I really like what I'm doing and I really love my job and uh, yeah, it exists. This, C this can I say that it sounds like this is some kind of a circle, right? Yeah, it is. That there is no end. When there is no end, when there is no gap, it, absolutely ends. it, is, it, it is something that brings you constant energy. Energy. Yes, but at the same time, it's not like, you know, like a squirrel that you, you want to have rest. Yeah, exhaust when yourself. I want to have a rest, I am having a good rest because I think that it is impo important, very, right. very important. So just, you know, for a quick answer of that question, um, what I was, um, you know, at The Bachelor, just a quick example, and we were just starting with our music band. Um, I had exams, then I went to the library, and then I went to the rehearsal. At 1 a.m. in the morning, I came back to the right library, and I was studying for the exam. So when you have the goal, because I wanted to pass all the exams, right? I, I wanted to write the best master thesis, and I want to have a concert. When you understand clearly what you want, and most important, who you need in order to make it um, real, it is very easy to do that if you have people who are inspiring you. Right. This is actually was, I think, personal, that this was the answer to the next question of uh, Jasmeet as well. You are so talented at achieving something great every single day. What keeps you grounded? So this priorities, this uh, well set attitude towards life, serious attitude, yeah. let's say, yeah. and realistic one. Emotional harmony. Okay. Because I really think that people, who, that a person who is anxious or, you know, worried about something, mm, the productivity goes down. And uh, again, one more thing. Having the opportunities, in order to have them, you have to ask for them. And that's the thing that I want to point out here at Lazarsk University. I'm going to do that right now. You know, I'm a member of the Faculty of Economics and Management. So guys, you have a lot of opportunities. You have science communities. You have science conferences you can be printed in a book and i'm gonna say that dr beck hi again uh it was the, the beginning of the semester and he said when we were studying the masters and he said those who are gonna write the best thesis uh -huh. i'm gonna print you in the book that was the moment when i i didn't say anything i was like okay cool <laughs> that's your aim 
<laughs> I'm gonna see you at the end of the semester, and I was super nervous, really. And um, I really am thankful for uh, the assistance of Dr. Beck, Yana Akremenko, because she helped me a lot. But I knew that I need this. So at the end of the semester, uh, when I was back home, and uh, you know, I, I was writing this master and everything, he called me and he said, "Okay, you can calm down. I'm gonna print your book." And I was like, "Yes." So you got you got yes. what you planned. <laughs> and. Uh, but you need to understand what exactly you need to do in order to to make it real. So planning. No one will 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 do this for you. And I'm gonna tell you the truth. If okay, I knew that I'm gonna have this opportunity. If I behave like this, ah, uh, what can I do? What should I do? Help me with this. Where should I find the book? Where is the library? Where is the email of this or that? Right. It would never work because no one really like people like this. I mean, I mean, the thing is that uh, in order to reach some aim in your life, you have to as well take responsibility yes, what you said exactly. and you have to make all these small steps exactly. in order to reach this big one, right? And already at the big one, someone will be able to help you. But yeah. if you are not doing anything and you you know, you're Absolutely. just praying that, oh, God, make me reach, okay? It is not bringing you anywhere closer yeah, to your that's, goals. That's true. If you are doing something, asking, checking, looking for, yeah. it will be given to you. Uh, we have one more question, the nice comment which I, I've just read and I'm going to cry, but okay. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> uh, how the work at university changed you and your feelings inside? Oh my God, we have five minutes left and I have no idea how to answer to that question. Short. Um, I'm growing every single day because I'm not a student anymore, you know, I have more responsibilities for these guys that I love, my students, and for other people, I'm re well, there are milestones always, but I'm growing, I feel it, I am getting emotionally wiser because I learn from the students, I learn from the colleagues, I take the opportunities and I take the responsibility because one doesn't work from without another. And uh, I'm really thankful for this, you know, system of the Lazarsk University because believe me, I've seen a lot of universities in my life and there is nothing like this. Like you're, you're not gonna find anything like this. I'm really proud, uh, I'm gonna say that, I'm really proud about the fact that I'm one of the youngest teachers at the university. And you know, they gave me this opportunity and not just to me, to other people as well. Right. So, it is very important to appreciate that and I really appreciate that. Everything that we're doing here, I mean, we're having Lazarski talks. What is this? Is it, the, you know, the, the project of the university? We just wanted to create something for the students and we did it together. And these opportunities that are really infinite at this university as a worker and as a student, I don't even know who have more, who have wider opportunities here and, you know, abilities to take the chances. So, um, you know, I'm just growing. And I'm really thankful uh, for my students and for my colleagues. Um, we're trying our best and we hope the students appreciate that. So yeah, I really am growing and I'm really thankful about that. That's amazing. Surrounded was, by one. So I, I was looking at you. I hope you're not going to cry and no. get touched. <laughs> um, I guess uh, I guess this is, this is important. Uh, and whatever we talk today, you know, comes to the point uh, that uh, if you've chosen a right place, and we hope Lazarski is the right place for you, and if you are motivated, uh, if, you, if you are looking for people that are going to be here for you, if you are looking for good friends, if you are looking for a place to grow and develop yourself, definitely Lazarski is a place for you. And only if you ask, if, if you ask for help, if you ask for the guidance yeah. and you are ready to make these steps and these efforts yeah. from your side. I mean, uh, you and not only you, but you today uh, was a great example oh, you. that you can reach I mean, you can reach anywhere you want, really. Yeah. Okay. If if all those things are happening, and we are here to help you with that. Uh, just a very quick comment from my side, dear students, um, those who are watching me, those who are going to watch me later on YouTube, I really, really am absolutely recommending you to consider this path at the university as a great chance because you happen to be here. It was meant for you to be here, so take this. You know, just just a very just a very quick thought. People who have higher IQ tend to think and to state that they know less 
than people with a lower IQ yeah. who tend to say that they know a lot. So uh, I prefer first people, um, you know, to, to, to surround myself. So I really am recommending you to take this opportunity to become educated in, you know, different ways. People with the academical background and to take the options that you have at this university. Write an article, read a book, come to your supervisor, write a great thesis, print it somewhere, join the science community. I don't know, go to Easy Concert or 343 Dancing Club. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just saying that this is a great platform for all of us from this side and from that side. So please take these opportunities. Uh, yeah, that's Thank it. you very much. We have to finish soon. So Darina is just going to read uh, two last thoughts that we okay. have here. Right. This will be a sweet yeah. moment. Yeah. Sweet, yeah. Sweet, I think sweet, sweet the sweetest and one we've <laughs> ever had here. A uh, couple of comments. It's a pleasure to listen to you. Another comment. Watching amazing, empowering women like you guys makes me emotional. Not because I find this discussion beautiful, but also it makes me feel tremendously grateful just to know we have guys like all of you. Oh, my. wow. Now we are going Thank to cry. You so much. Our, our, this is what I was talking about. powerful <laughs> women. We're not allowed to cry here. Oh, sorry. Thank you very much. Those issues. Also, thank you so much for this fruitful talk and all the information you shared with us. Personally, I learned many things from what you've been saying. Good luck in what's coming and thank you once again. Uh, thank you. And uh, Anna's actually uh, is so active today. Like, yeah. Right, but, active. but we have many, many active students today. And uh, this is the time. This is the time. The, the, the last minute here, we are going to reveal who is going to get this amazing uh, Lazarski gift box today for being active. Are you going to tell me that I can choose just, yes, a, you can choose. just a student? Just one student. But yes. it is, you know, ex student or student? Student. Yeah. We love the Pancho. <laughs> we will give him a lot. I mean, <laughs> my, but because his question was really important to me. Really, really, really important. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, I can't choose him. So um, I'm going to choose a student who I'm proud to have at my group. Ms. Just Meet. Uh, yes? Yeah. Because That's I right. really find her questions and comments very deep. And uh, I really appreciate them. So my choice is uh, just me. Congratulations. Uh, thank you very yes. much. Congratulations. Uh, we are inviting you then to pick your gift. It's going to be ready at the entrance of the university and waiting for you from tomorrow afternoon. We hope That's you're going right. to enjoy, enjoy this little gift. Guys, can you imagine that one hour passed so quick? So it quickly. was so swift. Yeah. Right? We didn't even feel we just started the discussion and we have to finish it. Guys, thank you very much for thank being you. here with us. Thank you, Anastasia, for sharing thank all this very beautiful much story here with us today. Uh, guys, we hope that you really enjoyed it, that you found this educational. And as always, we are waiting for your comments um, about the upcoming guests that you want to see in our Lazarski talks in the future episodes. Uh, you can use Instagram uh, for a communication with us. We are always listening to you yeah. and we can't wait to know from you who you want to see as a next guest with us. Thank you very much. Thank and you very remember, much. Remember, we're here for you. Doesn't matter which chair we're taking. Right, which department, we're here everyone is you. here. So thank you for listening again. Have a lovely evening and see you in not a next Monday, but in two Mondays. Stay tuned. We will going to inform you on the Instagram about it. Thank you thank very you much. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.